hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all well today's video is dedicated to workwear i think when it gets to this time of year there's so much content focused around party and christmas and festive which there will be lots of on my channel of course but i also wanted to cover um day-to-day -day life as well and i'll do casual outfits and I wanted to do a video dedicated to workwear as well because I've not done one of those for a while. So hopefully some workwear inspiration for the new season and yeah, lots of outfits and also just ideas to take away into your own wardrobes. So let's start with my first outfit. So I've gone for a bit of a brown and black theme with this. Um, I've got this brown jumper on, black leather skirt, brown boots, and I think all together it just feels quite chic and easy to put together. And also I think a way to maximize the pieces in your wardrobe is to think about different colors that you've maybe never tried as a combination before. So perhaps you're not somebody who thinks to wear black and brown together, um, but actually I find it looks really chic. It feels sophisticated, it feels smart, but it's a bit different from wearing a head to toe black outfit. And the leather skirt really works to smarten it up. Now the piesta resistance of this outfit is my bag from a gorgeous brand named Oleada. And you may have seen me working with them in the past. And I always love it when a brand comes back and wants to work with me again, it, it means so much, especially when it's a brand that I really admire. So very excited to be working with them today and showing you this beautiful bag. So the concept of Oleada as a brand is to bring weightlessness back to our busy lives as women. I think we are always on the go now, um, no matter what you do. And I think it's a really great concept that they want to basically make those busy lives easier for us. Um, and they do that with their bags. So the bag I'm showing you in this video is the Marina Bucket Bag in Chocolate. And this to me is kind of the ultimate work bag. It's not too oversized. There's nothing worse than having an enormous bag that you're lugging around with you all day, but it fits everything in it. I have a cutaway actually showing you what I can fit in it. So I've got my Mac, my MacBook Pro, and that fits in here and you don't even see it sticking out. It just slots in so nicely. It fits a water bottle in here. It fits my makeup bag and also my phone. There's also these really handy front pockets. Now you can fit your phone there if you wanted to, but also just any little bits and bobs that you want easy access to. A lip gloss, for example, you can just pop in here. So it's very useful in the fact that it fits everything in that you could want it to. Um, but also it's just nice and lightweight, not too bulky and heavy. Also just to note, it's made out of scratch resistant Italian leather. So obviously if you're kind of on the go during the day um, and you are kind of bashing into things, it's scratch resistant. So um, a really good fabric to have for a, um, a work bag. Also comes in other colors, so you'll be able to see online. And what I also love, um, and also I think really we should look for in all of our bags, particularly workwear bags, is kind of the versatility of how you can wear the bag. So you can actually take the strap, the long strap off the bag and literally just use it as a kind of handbag or you can pop it over your arm if you wanted to. So you could use it like that or you can have the strap on. I quite like the strap kind of showing, but still like just using it like this. I think that the strap looks quite cool. I think if you are carrying um, heavier pieces like a laptop, probably want to use it over your shoulder. You can even put it cross body if you wanted to, but over the shoulder is a really easy way to throw it on. It's got the magnetic clasp as well, so nothing will fall out nice and secure. And it's also got a really cute little pouch inside. Hopefully you'll be able to see a lovely close up in the cutaways, um, but it's got this gorgeous zip pouch also very important when i'm looking for a bag is that it's got some sort of zip pocket you know just for your essentials your cards um you don't even need to carry a purse because this can act as your purse and it is detachable too so you can just kind of if you've got all your essentials in this you can just um unclip it and take it with you if you just wanted something kind of small and on the go um you could use that as well separately so you're really getting a lot from one bag. Um, I think this is something I probably talk about with all of my things, clothes, bags, belts, um, to kind of look for those things that you can really 
extend the life of and make the most of, wear different ways, have different functions. Um, and what I like about this as well, it's not too big that you couldn't wear it kind of casually, just thrown over your shoulder with more of a casual outfit as well. So the code is Lydia15, capital letters Lydia15, and that will get you 15% off site-wide until the 12th of January, 2023. I can't believe I'm even saying 2023. That is crazy. Um, so you've got a nice long time, still quite a long stretch to th get there um, for you to use the Lydia15 discount code. Oh, and also just a really good point to note, um, so many of you always ask about this, but they are also a conscious brand in that they use all recycled materials and traceable leathers as well. Um, and they've got a recycle program where if you do want to send your used bags back to them, then they can go through a proper recycling process. But I imagine you won't want to do that um, because they are very, very durable and made to last as well. Okay, let's talk about outfit number two. And I've got these gray trousers on here. Grey trousers, I think, are a really good way to um, inject something different into your workwear that isn't traditional black. Um, but these pinstripe ones in particular just feel a little bit different. These are from Dira Coco Studio. Um, and I've paired it with this white ruffle blouse. But you could kind of go for any, like you could just go for a plain shirt with this. I went for the ruffled one just for something a little bit different. And the beauty of this blouse is that you can pair it with so many different styles of trousers. You could add a nice gilet over the top if you wanted to. But I think with the ruffles, it just brings something different. So I think if you are kind of someone who likes to wear blouses but wants to mix things up, look for maybe a ruffled blouse. This particular one is from Zara. And I think if you're going for a kind of smart casual look, you could pair some smart white trainers with this. However, I would keep them as smart white trainers. And to me, that means maybe a very simple design, something that's simple like a round toe, white leather, um, that's also very clean as well. I think they instantly look smart, but still casual. So depending on your environment, I think those are quite nice to go for and you can color balance the top um, shirt with the white trainers. And that's a nice one again to kind of carry through to different looks it's to wear the white trainers with a light top. So outfit number three is actually the blouse I'm wearing now. This one's from Frame Denim quite a while ago, actually. But again, the concept of a high neck ruffled blouse is something I really, well, if I went out to work, um, which I don't work from home, but um, if I was going out to work, I think this would be a staple in my wardrobe. So to have a kind of few different variations. I like this high neck one. I love the puff sleeves and this is um, where you can kind of really maximize your wardrobe and make the most of it. This is a really nice piece to dress up in the evening. Diamante earrings, um, a leather mini skirt you could even wear with this or a leather skirt, but also in the daytime for work wear, kind of keep it quite simple, put a blazer over the top to hide the puff sleeve because I think this is what makes it a bit fancier. Just keep the neckline um, and the white and it just really looks chic under um, a blazer and you've got that high neck detail. You could pop a cardigan under this and make it um, kind of a bit of a layering piece. This blazer I've got on here is from The Curated and I've paired it with these straight leg trousers from Philippa K. These to me are a real workwear staple. They're also an all round staple to be quite honest, but for workwear in particular, if you're looking to build that capsule workwear wardrobe, a really good quality smart pair of black tailored trousers um, in this kind of straight cigarette shape, I don't think you can go wrong with it. And then you can style them in so many different ways. So here I've gone for these low arquette heels if you wanted to make it a little bit smarter. Um, and I would also say I did initially try this on with the black blazer, but I felt it looked a bit too eveningy. So a way to kind of break that up and get away from that um, with the black heels and black um, trousers is to go for the kind of brownie colored blazer or something a little bit more natural and neutral. Um, just makes it feel a little bit more daytime and workwear. And if you wanted to, you could pop your Aliada bag with it too. So just showing another way to wear this base layer, you could go for um, a different style of blazer. You could add a coat over you if you wanted to, or like a kind of blazer coat that you could wear inside. A jacket would also work with this, but 
Here I've gone for this checked blazer. Again, it just makes the trousers feel a little bit more daytime. And then these chunky loafers from Reese. They don't have to be chunky loafers if that's not your thing or your style, but I think if you did want to feel a little bit more fashion forward in the office, you could take all those staples like black trousers, a nice white blouse, and then put them with something like a chunky loafer just to kind of update it and make it feel a little bit fresher. But of course, I think this would look nice with kind of non-chunky loafers. So definitely a really easy one to recreate. And I think the loafers just kind of give you that alternative option than a heel. Oh, and also I think, important point, I really like socks and loafers together, especially black because it's all quite streamlined. It doesn't feel too fussy. And again, I think it feels a little bit more fashion forward without being too out there. So I would say that workwear dressing is all about finding those little details to add in some personality like socks and loafers, something very, very subtle that doesn't feel um, kind of unprofessional, but some way that you can get your personality through. So my next look, I've gone for a knitted dress. Um, now I think again, this is a staple in your wardrobe, one you can dress up and down, but I think they do lend themselves quite nicely to workwear, especially in a block neutral color, something quite simple, keeps you nice and cozy through the day, um, but still looks smart when you dress it up. So this particular one is from Marquette. I think it's probably sold out now, but I like the bit of structure in the waist. Um, I think if you didn't have this kind of tie belt that it's got, you could put a belt over the top to give some structure to the knit. I think that's a key way to um, kind of smarten up your knitwear is to add a belt um, over the top. You could do that if you're wearing a knit top and trousers, add a belt. And it just, I think, feels a little bit more pulled together and professional. So really easy way if you do have a knit dress and kind of are not sure how to wear it for work, try adding a belt in. Um, kind of cinch you in and it gives it that structure. But again, this is one that if you've not got a really, really corporate job, you can wear it for a more kind of casual environment. And then what I've gone for is these slim fitting low heel boots from Naked Fashion. And I definitely think, well, for, for the most part, depending on your office, I would avoid anything too chunky and over the top for your boots. You don't want to look too fashion forward, I think. Um, you want to still be professional um, and pull together. And I think a slimmer boot provides that look um, more than a chunky boot does. Okay, so going back to kind of gray trousers, these are a beautiful pair from Cezanne. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality and also really nice for winter as well um, because they're a nice thick fabric um, and they've got this gorgeous kind of gray fleck running through them. Lots of different ways you can wear these, but in this particular um, outfit, I've gone for a cream roll neck jumper with a camel coat over the top and then matching off-white boots to kind of tie in the cream from the top. I think it would look a bit bottom heavy if I went for dark boots, for example. So definitely this for me is a color palette you should go for if you're not sure where to start on workwear, um, want to do something a bit different, don't want to wear head to toe the same color, go for this color combination, camel, cream, off-white and gray. They're a really smart, easy combination um, and I think they look quite cool but still very professional and put together and you could do this look if you didn't want to wear the coat you could do it more with a camel blazer or you can kind of flip it around you could do a grey jumper um, a cream coat and some camel trousers for example you don't have to necessarily recreate this exact look but hopefully this will give you an idea of how to use those colours into your wardrobe so finally talking about maximising your wardrobe getting the most out of everything um, I've got this shirt on here layered with this very, very fine knit roll neck jumper. I think this one's from Lily Silk actually. Um, but a way to maximize your summery shirts is to go for this kind of layering look. And I think this is a really nice, a cool nod to the 70s. I quite like that layering look, but it still feels really smart, but it just feels something a little bit different to just wearing the roll neck and the trousers. Um, so I've got this shirt on from Ceci here. I absolutely adore this shirt, but I think you could go for anything. A blue would work really nicely. Um, a cream roll neck would work really nicely as your layering piece. So think about what you've already got in your wardrobe in terms of shirts and roll necks and how you could maybe think about layering those together. 
Equally, as a side note, I think this would work really nicely with jeans or some cord wide leg trousers for more of a casual look. But in this case, I've gone for these wide leg um, trousers from Cezanne with my YSL belt to cinch in the waist. Again, really important for I think, feeling professional pulled together is that cinching in at the waist. And I also chose all black for this look with the shirt because I just felt it looked very streamlined. There's quite a lot going on with the shirt layering. So I think you want to keep the rest of your outfit quite simple. And then I finished off this look with a pointy toe boot. It's very low heel from Arquette. So I think if you did want to kind of go for that heeled look, never go for high heels. It's just not practical. Um, and I just don't think it looks that good either, especially with work wear. So, a nice low heel. I mean, you can get heels that are about this big, like an inch, um, but they still kind of give you that feeling of being pulled together and a bit smarter. So hopefully this video has given you some tips and ideas and inspiration for some workwear looks for the new season. If you want um, any other workwear outfit inspo or suggestions or key pieces, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely do that for you. Don't forget the discount code for Oleada. Um, they've got also a really nice array of bags. Like they've got an amazing, actually, I'll just show you really quickly. So they've got this amazing and metallic one that they also sent over to me. I think I'll probably include this in an upcoming reel, but if you aren't looking necessarily for a work bag, they've got some really cool pieces. For party season, I just think this would be so good. Like it's a clutch, but you've also got the long strap. You could wear it across the body. Um, and again, just beautiful quality. And this is something you can wear time and time again in the evening. So I'm really looking forward to styling this one actually, but I didn't think it quite went with the workwear looks. But like I say, if you're not necessarily looking for workwear, they've got a real great variety of bags, um, which are beautiful quality. So don't forget the Lydia 15 until the 12th of Jan, 2023. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, as always, it's very much appreciated and I will see you in my next video.